Good evening. <clears throat> Take my glasses off so I don't glare. How are y'all doing? I'm just doing a video about what's conspired in the past two and a half weeks, I guess. So, um, the hospital decided to cut my pay. Uh, poof. We're just going to cut your pay. So, uh, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to finish out the contract, but it was my first time getting a lawyer and talking to a lawyer about things and, you know, what are my rights and, you know, can they do this, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, apparently they can and, uh, it just won't work for this company ever again, this hospital. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good. I am week, going into week four or five <clears throat> here. So counting them down. Got a massage today and found a chiropractor because my left hip is out. And the chiropractor <clears throat> wouldn't even adjust me today. Because um, I try to get x-rays only done once a year. You don't think about this kind of stuff until... You, you live out of your car that you know if you get a new chiropractor every 90 days they're gonna want you know x-rays and stuff and I can't get x-rays every 90 days that's not good for your health so um I have to get some and uh I got some today and then I'll take those pictures with me and travel with them for the next year so I don't have to do it again but they wouldn't even touch me because of <laughs> the injuries I have uh, they're like, yeah, you can come back tomorrow. We're going to confer with our other, with our, you know, other chiropractors. And then, then you can come back tomorrow and get an adjustment. So, so, okay. With broken sacrum and coccyx and shrapnel wound and broken neck and curvature of the spine. They, they're just like, you're a train wreck. <laughs> like I know. So, um, they seem like they're going to be good though. And they have me all strapped up with this athletic tape all over my hip and back and butt so I have all this athletic strip tape everywhere and apparently you can shower in it so that's a new thing for me um but yeah so I was looking to basically pin the ears back at the hospital and be like you can't take my money and they can they could fire me or take my money, whichever they feel like doing. And, uh, it's a substantial amount. It's not like $50. It's like thousands. And so it's, it's frustrating, especially being here and have lost money on being robbed and everything else. But not the end of the world. I'm in good spirits though. I'm not murmuring about it. You know, bad stuff happens and I'm doing something that's out of the ordinary, out of the box, so you can expect complications. It's not a big deal, but it's beautifully, but beautiful, sunshiny out here. We're starting to ride my bike, and uh, I think I'll just start enjoying Arizona a little bit more, do some more hiking and stuff once I feel better. But for right now, I'm kind of laying low just because my hips giving me flaring up since I haven't been to the chiropractor in so long but just went shopping today and got a massage and got some earrings got a haircut feeling pretty lovely had a me day so anyway went to coach I love coach <laughs> so I hope everybody else is doing well I am reading, my friend had me read it, uh, Romans 5, the part where it talks about basically hardship, you know, produces perseverance and per perseverance, faith and faith, hope, I think that's what it is, and hope does not disappoint, and so I'm just using my hardship to give me perseverance and faith and hope so 
doing well. Hope y'all are doing well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.